for our cattle or our bovine, if a cow is having a difficult time having a calf, that's known as a dystocia, and we as veterinarians are often called to help assist those in those situations. But for the majority of the time, cows deliver their calves without any assistance. And there are three separate types of uh, arrangements that must take place in order for the cow to deliver the calf unassisted. The first arrangement would be the presentation of the calf to the birth canal. So this is the pelvis of the calf, and this is the pelvic, uh, the cow, sorry, and this is the pelvic inlet. The presentation of the calf to the birth canal is important in that for an unassisted delivery, the calf must be in what we call anterior presentation, which means the front limbs, both of them, and the head are presented into the birth canal at the beginning of parturition for this cow. And that would be a normal presentation, anterior presentation. The second arrangement we talk, talk about is the position of the calf. Position we define as the location of the calf's spinal column in relationship to the cow's spinal column. So the top of the calf head is generally how we describe this sort of position. Um, and we prefer the position to be in dorsal, the dorsal part of the calf, which is the top or the pole of the calf's head or the spinal column, in relationship to the cow's spinal column, which would be this area here above the pelvic inlet, which would be the sacrum. So we prefer the calf's position to be dorsal sacral. If the calf is to present it to the calf in anterior presentation and the position is dorsal sacral, that's very normal and the calf should be delivered unassisted. Many times the calf can be tilted off to the side and even though it's presented in anterior presentation, the calf's dorsum, the pole of the calf's head, may actually be tilted off to the side. In that situation, we refer to this position as dorsal left iliac, being this is the left ilium of the calf, the cow. This would be dorsal left iliac position. If it's tilted off to this direction, it would be dorsal right iliac, and that's how we would describe the position. If the calf was completely upside down so that the pole of the calf is in relationship to the bottom of the calf's the cow's pelvis, it would be referred to as dorsal pubic. So the calf's head would be completely upside down in this regard. So the pole of the calf is in re direct relationship to the pelvic area, the floor of the pelvis, the pubic area, known as dorsal pubic. And that's the second arrangement that we call the position. And the third and final most important arrangement would be posture. So we would like the calf to have a very correct posture, and that correct posture would be extended front legs. So both legs are extended straight ahead with the calf's head positioned between both front legs. So whenever the calf is extended into the birth canal, we would like both front limbs to be as far straight out as possible with the calf's head positioned between both legs, and that would be the correct posture known as an extended posture. So in order to deliver this calf correctly, without any assistance typically, the cow would need the calf to be in anterior presentation, dorsal sacral, with an extended posture.